Hello, sweet creatures. So today I am back again with another tech unboxing video. So let's open this parcel with this cute small flat knife. I want to apologize because it's gonna look like I am dissecting it. But it's not my fault. The packaging of this product is really awful. But I definitely really appreciate it because it kept the thing inside safe and very secure. So guys, just a story time. Unfortunately, it was really unexpected but my MacBook is broken. It was really inconvenient for me because I need something to use. Especially that last week was actually our finals in my university. So I did not waste my time and I searched not just very affordable but really usable computers on Shopee. It took me two days and many hours, but then I just decided to buy a mini PC or mini computer. And for the reason is that it is more affordable, compact, and very fully functional one. And I really appreciate it that it's compact because it looks minimal. I saw a big potential on this mini PC. Even though it's just second hand because I know it will still be very useful for me. Though it is very useful, there is just some things that just disappoint me. Um, starting with the packaging. And that the removable case cover is also missing. But of course, it's very understandable because I just bought this item only for second hand. And we couldn't expect a second hand to be looking perfect and new. Of course, we will, we will see some indications of being used in scratches so it comes with this power cord that doesn't fit on a common Filipino electric socket and this power supply cord this power supply cord directly connects to the mini PC so it opens up or turns on it looks like a laptop charger but it's the main power source so this mini PC is an HP model it is their thin client lineup and the particular model of this one is the HP thin client T630 mini PC had a really hard time removing all the bubble wrap but I understand the seller so this is what the mini PC look like like I said it is from HP it's got some few dents and scratches. This is where the information about the mini PC is hidden. 
or it is where you can find the information of the PC is we will just have to pull it to see in the information so it came with a USB Wi-Fi adapter and this is what the back of this thing looks like So just like what I said earlier, the back panel cover is missing which is very disappointing for me but I don't have a choice so I just have to understand it and accept the fact that it doesn't came with the removable cover. It also didn't come with a stand for the PC which I, which I already knew and I am aware of but I just want to make you guys aware that it comes with a stand if you guys bought it in brand new next we will be opening up this thing and we will try to see what it looks inside so I have watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to open this thing and it's not really that hard and actually a tutorial of how to open and put the cover back is also indicated inside hidden under the lid cover so this is what the motherboard looks like for this PC. The CPU is new for me and from the looks of it, it looks like it is embedded in the motherboard but I'm not sure. It also comes with a 16 free SSD where the operating system is installed. We also have an 8GB RAM that I think is enough for me but the main storage isn't so I'm going I'm thinking of changing it. The heatsink also looks new for me. And from the moment that I opened the lid, I already knew why they provided the Wi-Fi adapter. It is because they took out the WLAN card. And that is for the wireless Wi-Fi connection and the Bluetooth. It also comes with the speaker which is very convenient. So, I'm looking for the LAN card or WLAN card, so I think this is where it should be, but I don't know why it's missing, but the seller already told me about it, so I am fully aware that it won't have Bluetooth. Nonetheless, I am still happy and thankful for the seller that they are kind enough for providing a Wi-Fi adapter. So there it is, we are done on looking the internal organs of this computer. Let's now put the cover back on and try this cute thing if it's working properly. and the connectors and first we are connecting all the power cords and the cord or the connector or whatever you call it the cord for the display so that's the HDMI connector or the connector for the display
you guys because I don't have a mouse pad we will improvise and I will just be using a book as my temporary mouse pad next we are connecting the keyboard and mouse on the back panel of the PC So because the plug of the computer that is provided is not compatible with our socket here, I'll be using this adapter for the power plug of the PC. So we are done on connecting all the components. Now let's turn it on. So on our first boot, the user that is registered for the computer is also the name of the seller's Shopee page. But of course, to make everything sure and keep everything mine, we will be fixing it later on. Here, I am just checking out the performance of the computer, trying to look and see if everything is working really well. I also check the Wi-Fi, the specs, if they're exactly what I ordered and if everything is running smoothly. I was also surprised that all the apps that is installed or the Microsoft Word program that is installed in this PC is the 2007 version which is considering the fact that it's running Windows 10 I think it's weird but I'm still thankful for the seller because they installed an operating system but I think the operating system that they installed is pirated but still it's cool because I am able to test and check if everything is working fine but I can fix it later and we will fix everything that is in this computer or what this computer lack of so here I am just talking about why are all the apps so old But no lies guys, the computer is definitely working pretty well and very usable. All the devices that is connected like the keyboard and the mouse are also working nicely with the system. To be honest guys, I am not really expecting a very powerful machine as I will be only using this computer for writing documents, saving files, writing assignments for my university, saving school documents, programming and other stuff that can only be done using computer. So next guys, if you guys can see, there I am just trying out the Bluetooth even though I know the fact that it won't even work. I am just trying it but because 
I was also hoping that maybe the adapter that they gave also comes with Bluetooth, but that's crazy. So let's just move on. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope this video will give you guys an idea of what computer to buy next. A very affordable one. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like this video. Give it a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. See you again on my next video. So all the links that are related to this computer is linked down in the description. You guys can just access it very easily. So this is what my desk looks like now. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe again.